Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, a few months ago, Erica from Erica ZDC, formerly known as Not Your Average ZDC, did a video on three things you must do when you get a new case knife. Well, I just got this. I just did an unboxing video on this. I haven't even put it in my pocket. Um, I took a few pictures and filmed a shorts, little shorts video with it, but I haven't done any cutting with this, anything, so it's brand new, so, some reason, that video popped up on my YouTube feed last night, actually, and I watched it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do the three things she says you need to do when you get a new case knife, and it's basically... She honed it, strapped it, and oiled it. So, gonna do it. But anyways, I just got this. And it's pretty cool. It's the synthetic yellow trapper and carbon steel. If you see the unboxing video, I wanted the CV steel, not the carbon. But anyways, it works for me. 40 bucks is all I paid for this. And yeah, like I said, I have not cut anything it feels like it has a decent edge but you look at it real close you can see it's very rough um so got a piece of printer paper let's just see how it how it feels yeah it's it's sharp but it's rough that's a pretty rough cut um It's not too bad, though. So, I think a little honing, a little stropping will actually help it. Um, the spade blade, which to me feels sharper, is actually a little rougher. It's the paper, the edges of the paper, a little fuzzier. So, yeah. And there's some dirt down in there. You know, not bad. Overall, the quality on this is not bad at all. I, I feel like I got lucky on this. But yeah, so, like I said, she honed it on a ceramic rod, strapped it, um, and put a little oil in the pivot, worked the junk out. So, I don't have a little ceramic rod like she did. I'm going to buy one because that look a lot easier to use. And I don't have a strop like she do, does. So I'm just going to use the Work Sharp guided field sharpener. I Probably 90% of the knives I sharpen, I actually just I use this. I get a pretty good edge on everything. It works for me. I don't know, I can't remember how much these things cost. 30, 40 bucks maybe, if that. Um, got a coarse side, fine side, ceramic rod, rod, rod and um, strop. But yeah, we'll just um, do some passes on a ceramic rod. And strop it and see if there's any difference and not putting any pressure on this I'm just trying to take off any burr that's left on there from sharpening like I said it was pretty pretty um rough the only thing about this is it's hard to get right up against the sharpening trail. Kind of have to do it off in an angle like this. Which makes it a little more difficult. I don't know how many passes I've done yet so far. 
Not gonna do too many. We'll just do a few. Go through the process, see if it makes a difference. Um, I may come back later and do this a few more times. So, I really did not check for a burr before I started. I really don't feel any kind of burr, so I do have green compound on this, although it's been used a lot. Um, and it's a pretty rough piece of leather. But like I said, I, I sharpen a lot of knives on this. I have the work sharp precision adjust sharpener, which I, I use on, you know, like my S30V and S35V and um, whatever's on my hog, I can't think right now. But the harder steels, I do use use that. But for the most part, yeah, most of my I sharpen most of my knives right on this thing, and I have to say, <laughs> it does the job. You know, I don't get the mirror polish a lot of people get, but. Most of the time, I don't like a mirror polish. I like a little toothier edge. But yeah, let's see if just that little bit makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely a lot smoother cut. Definitely. So, that's a lot better than it was right out of the box. Um... Yeah, so, like I said, I may come back and work on this a little more later on, but for now, it's definitely, definitely better. So, let's see. Nice. That's a lot better. Looks better already, too. Um, this is carbon steel, or, yeah carbon steel I don't know what it is I guess case it's more or less 1095 carbon steel and um yeah kind of acts like 1095 yeah see this is really I can feel the drag in the papers you can see all the little fuzzies at the cut so Definitely need a, just a little TLC. Um, dang, dang near got myself. The only thing about the sharpener, which I should probably have done, is the diamond plates come off. Just like that. Look, I still have the, the paperwork inside. That way, if you come off, you're not going to hit the the plates and mess it up. And it's a little easier to get all the way on there. Yeah, I usually take those off. That way I don't like slip off. And hit that and slip off you can hit the plastic that's not really gonna hurt anything um, yeah I'm excited to get this knife I always when I think of case knives for some reason I'm not sure exactly why but these yellow handled synthetic handle case knives pop in my mind my my dad or uncles or someone when I was little 
had a knife with these yellow handles. And I seem to remember that. So, when I think of case knives, this is what I think of. Um, so I decided to finally buy one. I ordered this from Amazon. It was supposed to be the CV steel, chrome vanadium. And after I ordered it, I read the reviews. And a lot of people mention it's not CV, it's CS, carbon steel. So I'm like, yep, that's what I'll probably end up getting, which is okay. From what I've seen on YouTube, the CVs, the CV and this carbon steel is basically the same. I'm sure there's some chemical, chemical composition difference, but for the most part, I guess... It's like 1095 steel, carbon steel, which I have a few knives, 1095, I like it. Yeah, you see, I keep dropping down off. I didn't check for a burr before I started either on this one. Don't feel any now, though. Um, yeah. That belly, that belly right here is kind of sharp belly to keep, keep flat, you know, keep the edge, the proper angle going around that. Not too bad, though. Yeah, I've had this work sharp field sharpener for, uh, must be almost three years, over three years now. I use it a lot. This drop needs cleaning and more compound added, but it's doing the job. So yeah, back talking about this knife, I have a trapper, case trapper, my, my one and only trapper is a pilot test run trapper, so it's limited run, um, I have carried and used it, but kind of want to keep it nice, so I finally decided I'm going to get a one, I'm going to get one to be a user, this is a user knife. Um, I'm going to use the crap out of it. It's carbon steel. It's going to get a patina. I can't wait for that. I like that. Um, yeah. This is a user. So let's, let's do the paper again. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty clean. Not as clean, it's not quite as clean as the, um, clip point blade, so. Let's drop it just a little, a few more times. Yeah, I feel like I got lucky on... I ordered this, like I think I said, off Amazon just because it said it was CV and it was a few dollars cheaper, free shipping compared to dealers and definitely Case's website. But the seller on Amazon was Case. It's the Case store so I feel like I got lucky besides the fact it's not the steel I ordered but the quality of this is pretty good 
centering and the blades they're off to the outside a little bit not rubbing and there's a slight gap in the back spring and then uh shield side with a clip point if the clip points open you can tap the um, cover and it kind of makes a noise doesn't do it when it's shut but I'll show you that oh that's that's a lot better Go back to the clip point. Yeah, if I for some reason feels like the cover is loose, but it's not. I, I I don't know. The other side, the spade blade side, does not do it. Yeah, clip point's good. Yeah. Then after she did that, she um. Cleaned it out a little bit. And just see. There's some crap in there. I'm just using a paper towel. Let's see. Try to make this a short, quick video. So yeah, I got some stuff out of there already. And she put a couple drops of oil in there, worked it, cleaned it out. Um, so we'll do that. I'm going to try this Tough Glide Rust Inhibitor and Lubricant. Um, it's a lot thinner than this KPL regular. Um, doesn't say like viscosity or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna try this. I tried this on one of my other trappers and it's kind of thick. And that's just the regular regular um KPL. They do have a lightweight. This thing I don't know, one year Christmas time or something. This part of a little knife maintenance kit that Blade HQ gave out. So yeah, just put some in there. That is pretty, oh, pretty thin. So let that soak in. Open this up. Put some down in here. Do the same with this one. Yeah, this is a lot thinner. And let it sulk in for a minute. It's gonna blow it down in there. So then all she did was kind of worked the blades. Like this. Do this one. And get a little oil coming out. It's working its way through. Get the towel. See if I can wipe some of it out. Getting some stuff. Try like this. Could use a rag or microfiber cloth, or something, but 
I just grab a paper towel. It'll work. Yeah, this is a user knife, but. Might as well get it working better. Um, got oil, oil all over. It's kind of slippery. But yeah, I believe doing this. It's only taken less than twenty minutes. Made a difference on a new case knife. See the centering on this is off. They're both off to the outside a little bit. Um, if I paid a lot of money, I might complain. But $40, this is a user. I'm not going to complain too much. That might, this one might be, that might be rubbing. Watch. The edge is not rubbing. Might be rubbing right here in the upper part of the blade, thicker part of the blade. This one. Not too bad. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but let's see if it moves over at all. Mm, not really. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. That was, I got this from, like I said, Erica from Erica ZDC. Three things you must do when you get a new case knife. And I got a new case knife and figured I'd do it. But yeah. Check her channel out, Erica ZDC. Great channel. Great person, great channel. Um, she knows more about knives than I do. And yeah, guess that'll do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And until the next video, bye.